Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. It is of a cake. Oh, can you see it? Yeah. Of a cake with a happy birthday and an embossed frame. This stamp set, happy birthday to you, is a celebration stamp set. Spend £45 or more and you can get this free. So we're going to be using the cake and the happy birthday out of this one. And I'm also using Itty Bitty Birthdays for a message inside and I haven't made my mind up which one. Time to celebrate I think. Um, there it is. We'll just use that one. So to make this card, you're going to need the stamp sets, but you're also going to need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half and burnished. Two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside. Oh no, I only need one. One piece of white cardstock for the inside and a piece of, I'm going to do this in lemon lime twist. I haven't used this for so long and I've already embossed it. Can you see that embossing? It's like a frame. I've got this embossing folder in Peterborough and I was there back in October. I like it so much so I thought I'd use it. You also need a piece of designer series paper. Where is it gone? Oh, oh here it is. And I'm using the gingham paper in lemon lime twist and that fits in the middle there just nice. So we're going to use that. You need a scrap of white for the cake and a scrap of Lemon lime twist for the happy birthday. So let's do our stamping first so that we can think will dry by the time we go to colour it. So just pop that down there. More fussy cutting, I'm afraid. Nice clean stamp. All right, and then we want to do the happy birthday. going to cut that out by the shape of the words and then with our white piece we're going to stamp time to celebrate just in the middle. Not very straight. That's better. I'm going to do it again because the one, the purple one, hasn't got a inside in. I made a few cards and never did the insides. So, right, what all I am going to do is, oh, I haven't even put the stickers on the um, box yet. That eager to use them. 
Let me get some ink. Lemon lime twist. Where is that? Oh dear. I don't know if this still works. It's not been that long. I don't even know if I actually used it when it was current. I'm just putting some little dots in each corner. Just to give it a bit of colour. Not much colour. Close that up, close the black up, right, let's stick, oh I've done that in lemon lime twist, never mind I'll sort that out afterwards, I was going to stick it in, should have been in, great, uh, gorgeous grape, right we'll stick this in here. This is my last piece of lemon lime twist. I don't think I've got any more of that. Um, and then we're going to stick the gingham on. I think I've got three or four sheets of the that on. Alright, put the pin in the glue, grab my scissors. Now all I'm doing with this is just going round up and down wherever the letters are. Just going around them. Take each of the long or the tall letters, should I say?
And there is my happy birthday. Keep that. Get rid of that. And this is going to go on dimensional, so let's do that now. And then we can forget about it. Use the mini dimensionals. Now we're going to get back to colouring the cake before we cut it out. I haven't got lemon lime twist. Oh, they don't do, didn't don't didn't do lemon lime twist in the alcohol markers, but I'm using Granny Apple Green for the leaves. And it's quite easy to tell which are leaves and which are um, petals if you do the leaves first. If you do the flowers first, you'll be wondering whether, right, which one did I miss last time? Like this one here, that one there. I thought was a leaf and it isn't, it's part of a flower. What was the other one? There was two I missed. I think it was this one here, but you can clearly see, looking at it properly, it is a leaf. Right. This is dark real red and all I did was the buds there's some little buds I presume the buds And I'm going to use dark old olives on these leaves here, on the bud leaves that have got bigger, and these ones here. Alright. Um, pink for the cake. Now with this all I did was just did the edge.
started with the cake edge are the which one's light right light soft sea foam is what I've done the tray uh, cake stand makes it look like glass and then the flowers I'm doing in mango melody nice yellow flowers yellowy orangey flowers Doesn't actually take long to colour in these. Flowers. Because I'm not doing any shading or anything. I'm just colouring them in. Right, what I am going to do, because this, these two flowers are sat on a um, tier, I am going to do the bit where it would have been bent in the middle, a little, little bit darker than what the top bit is. Same here. And then, then these little buds I'm just going to do in Daffodil Delight. And that is my cake colour do. All we've got to do now is cut it out. Right, the flowers here, when I got to the flowers, I didn't go around each flower individually. I just followed the shape round.
again it's an easy shape to cut if you remember just to move your paper rather than your scissors Hope I'm doing this on camera. And that we have a cake. And that will sit on there with this along the bottom. That looks quite pretty that. So we need dimensionals for this. off and place that on the cake on the cake on the card take back and off these mini dimensionals that down like that and there we have it one cake birthday cake uh, what's your other one? Oh. I think that's quite nice. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.